We're really starting to stretch out these tutorial ideas now, if you couldn't already tell. But nonetheless, get ready to create a cool composition using textures and stretching effects. Hey everyone, this is Jordan with Sonduck Film. Be sure to smash that like button and let's get started. Remember that you can download the project files in the description below so that you can follow along. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take our title layer and create this stretching animation for it. Here we have our title layer and the first thing we'll want to do is right click it, go to create, create shapes from text. Now double tap the U key to open up the layer and what we're going to do is move to 12 frames on the timeline and set a keyframe for path on all of the letters like this. Next, move forward by one second on the timeline, select the pen tool, then on the title for each letter you want to hold shift and select all the points for the top of the letter, then drag the top of the letter near the top of the composition. Then do the same for the bottom points of the letter and drag them down near the bottom of the composition. Depending on what letters you have, you'll have to mess around with which points you select and drag to maintain the look of the letter even when it's stretched out. You might have to do some further adjustments to the paths after the letter has been stretched, especially if it has curves like the letter B here. Once that's done, highlight all of the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes, open the graph editor tool, and pull both sides of all of the curves all the way inward like this. Now copy all of the keyframes, move to 2 seconds on the timeline, paste them, move to 3 seconds and 12 frames on the timeline, paste again, then move to 5 seconds and paste one more time. Highlight the second and last set of keyframes like this, then right click, select Keyframe Assistant, Time Reverse Keyframes. Lastly, I'm going to enable Motion Blur for the animated layer, delete the original title, then pre-compose the shape layer, I'll name it to Title, and click OK. Now you should have this stretching title animation going back and forth like this. Before we move on, as you know, creating motion graphics can be challenging and time consuming. That's why we've made over 5,000 templates to help you save time and produce amazing work under one subscription price. For example, you can preview templates, say, from our Pulse Pack and click Apply. Then you can change the template parameters and you're done. So if you're looking to get an edge in your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. Next, we're going to quickly add some texture to our title layer. Here in the project panel, I have this texture image I'm going to be using. You can find something like this on any basic stock footage website. I'm going to take this texture, drag it onto the timeline above the title layer. Then I'm going to open the track mat dropdown for the title and select Luma Inverted Mat. If you don't see this dropdown, click the toggle switches and modes button at the bottom of the screen. Now highlight the title layer, go to effect, generate, fill, and we'll leave the color on this solid red for now. Lastly, highlight both layers, right click, select pre-compose, we'll name this one to title textured and click OK. Now we have our title fully textured and ready for the next step. Next, we're going to create an animated fractal noise layer to overlay onto this title. Start by going to Layer, New, Solid, create a basic black solid, and click OK. Now go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise, and Effect, Time, Posterize Time. For Fractal Noise, set the Fractal Type to Rocky, set the Contrast to 260, open Transform, Increase the scale to around 550, set the complexity to about 18, then hold down the ALT key and click the stopwatch for evolution. In the expression controls panel type in time asterisk 200 to create a constant animation of the fractal noise. Next we're going to go back to our title pre-comp, copy the title shape layer, then paste it into our main comp, highlight it and press the U key. We're doing this so we can see the keyframes and match the timing of this next animation to them. Highlight the solid layer, go to the first keyframe of the title, set a keyframe for brightness on the fractal noise, set the brightness to 45, go to the next keyframe and set the brightness to negative 115. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease, go into the graph editor and pull both sides of the curve all the way inward. Copy the keyframes. Paste them into the same spots as the shape animation, highlight the second and last set of keyframes, and time reverse them just like before. Delete the shape layer now that we have the keyframes matched up. Now highlight the solid layer, select the rectangle tool, 
create a mask that covers just the title at the start of the animation, open the mask, and select Invert. This will keep the noise from covering up the text and making it unreadable. Lastly, go up to the Posterize Time settings and set the frame rate to 12 to give the animation a choppy look, then set the track mat of the precomp to Luma Inverted Mat. Precompose both layers, we'll name this one to Noise, then click OK. And now we have our title animation set up with a texture and animated noise layer. Lastly, we're going to create an RGB effect for our title and add some additional elements to finish off the composition. For the RGB effect, highlight the precomp, then go to Effect, Channel, Shift Channels, and the Effect Controls panel set green to full off and blue to full off. Duplicate the precomp, set red to full off, green to full on, duplicate the precomp again, set green to full off and blue to blue, then take the top two precomps and move their position a tiny bit to the left to see the effect. Set the mode of the top two precomps to screen as well. For the titles wrapping around the screen, highlight the text you want to go around the border, select the rounded rectangle tool, and create a big rounded rectangle that forms a border around the composition like this. Open the text layer, text, path options, set the path to mask one, set reverse path to on, and alt click the stopwatch for first margin. In the expression control, type in time asterisk 200 to animate the title along the path, then go to Effect, Time, Echo, and Effect, Generate, Fill. For the echo, set the echo time to negative 1.15, the number of echoes to 22, and leave the fill as is. The settings for the echo effect could be different depending on the length and size of your title. Lastly, we're going to take another textured piece of stock footage that we have here and put it underneath of everything to finish off the composition. Now you have this cool stretching title animation with multiple animated textures. Remember, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro templates with our extension panel. Those links will be available down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember, always be creating.